Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be a day in my life, clean with me kind of video. I've got a lot of things to do today so I'm just kind of hyping myself up, getting ready for the day. I'm already dressed in my leggings and my husband's comfortable shirt because there's just a lot that I'm going to be getting done today. And right here I'm just starting out with laundry. I already finished a load in the washer so I'm just taking out last night's clothes that was in the dryer and I'm just switching over the stuff that's in the washer it's kind of a gloomy day this morning it's, it's kind of rainy and a little chilly um, so I've got some lamps on and trying to create a cozy warm atmosphere at home um, the kids are just listening to some music right now and at this point I'm just trying to get ahead on some of those tasks that just take time in the background those passive tasks like laundry the dishwasher is running right now too and then later on I'm gonna be more hands-on on other things if you are new here I thought I'd properly introduce myself my name is Priscilla at the recording of this video I'm 24 weeks along in my third pregnancy I have two toddlers one is about to turn three this month and my other baby is a year and a half so I'm just trying to stay on top of this laundry because with four of us living in this house it takes pretty much like a load a day to keep the laundry monster away as I like to say <laughs> um. <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a day in my life vlog, clean with me. I've never done a kind of clean with me video, but Today I have a lot to get done and I figured I'd take you guys along with me. Maybe this will serve as some motivation or inspiration for you to do those spring clean things that you need to get done. I know I see these as inspiration and motivation to get some things done. Right now I'm pregnant with baby number three so I'm really feeling the nesting kicking in and I'm just on that preparation mode already this baby's gonna be due in july i've had to kind of reshape the way i'm thinking about this because i do have two toddlers i am not able to get a lot done in one go i guess there are multiple times that i have to stop what i'm doing to go and take care of them which is completely fine and understandable i have to kind of tell my brain like okay we will get this stuff done but it just needs to be broken up into different segments and different times um, so for right now, I'm going to focus on one thing and then when they go to sleep um, during their nap time, I'll go do something else. So let this video be an encouragement to you, but if you feel like your home is exactly where it needs to be, please don't let the pressure of social media or anything that's going on right now, like spring cleaning is very on trend right now because it is spring and a lot of people like to organize and declutter and clean their homes um, this time of year and it's a great time to do that especially right now for me i'm struggling with allergies my husband too and so we want to just deep clean certain areas of our house that don't get as much attention as they normally would and so but if you feel like your home is right where it needs to be please don't feel pressured to go on and change things or buy things i'm also going to be showing you guys some products that i got in preparation for this um, a few I got from Walmart, a few from the dollar store, um, but you can do a lot of cleaning at home with what you already have. And that is why I only bought a few items because I already knew that I had quite a few items to work with. So these are just things that I absolutely needed. And yeah, 
let me share this with you and you guys will see little clips of me here and there cleaning i guess i'll start out with like kitchen stuff the first thing i got was a scrub daddy i've heard a lot about this and i wanted to try it out for myself so when you use hot water with this it becomes very soft when you use cold water it becomes hard again so you're able to get into those little spots that you need more firmness on so i, I really like that i've been using that i also got this 10 pack of Swedish dishcloths from Amazon. These were not expensive at all, and I mean, it's 10 of them. I already gave one away to our friend and then one to my sister. And I gave my parents one from the last pack that I bought a while ago, um, but they were like smaller. It was a different brand, and they still have it. These are dishwasher safe, and you can throw these in your washer too. So they last a long time, plus they have different colors and different. I know there's some like really cute aesthetic ones on Amazon, and you'll see there's like a bunch to choose from i went with these because i got more bang for my buck and i wanted to assign different colors for different reasons um i don't want to use the same one that i use on my counters and like dirty things when i go to clean up my kids after meal time or their high chair i got some clothespins from the dollar store which i didn't bring here with me and you could just use a clothespin or one of those little command hooks and i saw this brand that has like a little hole punch on here it literally looks like uh, one of those hole punch so you can technically punch a little hole here and then just hang it up to dry like in your kitchen if you want to hang a hook um for right now i just hang mine on a rack i love the pink one it's so cute these can replace paper towel usage big time you're able to rinse them and wash them like put some dish soap give them a little wash that was from amazon so i'll link that and all these other things like this one in my description if you guys want to go check them out again you don't need to get new stuff if you already have stuff to work with but these are just tools that will help take your daily cleaning game to the next level this right here is another thing i got actually a few weeks ago i want to show it though because it has changed the way that we do dishes at least me they have a nice little handle and they come with a dish brush sometimes i put a little bit of warm water in here with a drop of soap and i make some bubbles and then as i'm washing i just dip it back in here this is more for like pots and pans and like silverware but these don't really do well with cups and bottles because they, you can't really get in the side if you have one of these you know what i mean and the one that i bought actually came with two extras so you can designate one for your sink and then one for the rest of your dishes one maybe for your pots and pans or just have it on your stock of supplies for later i did take out this thing that it comes with because i didn't want it to get all wet and gross but technically you could leave it on and just hang it to dry and just to clarify i still use paper towels but these are more for like messes that i don't want to pick up with one of these there are just some things that you need to clean up with paper towel and you need to get rid of that paper towel right away so that's why i have this especially for bathroom cleanup and just different things in the kitchen that just need to go bye bye in the trash um speaking of bathroom i think i'm gonna go there next i got a brand new bowl and brush caddy i got the closed one because i have kids that like to touch everything i got this brush from the dollar store i guess this goes in the kitchen category because this is more for cleaning bottles and cups this is a new product that i've never tried this is the scotch bright non-scratch extendable tub and tile scrubber so it has a handle and you're able to get in there in those little places that you can't really reach um i can reach pretty well in my shower but because i am pregnant i can't stand on that like on the bathtub ledge like you know what i'm talking about i don't want to slip and fall from up there so i need something to help me get into all those areas and also save my back because i can't really be like leaning forward too much uh as i'm getting bigger now in my second trimester it's it's hard to do the cleaning that i used to do i got this one from walmart this one is a product i've already used up i didn't get this new but i did want to mention it because it works really well and i love the scent this is the method all-purpose cleaner of course i would love like an all-natural non-toxic thing but this is just what i was able to get from my walmart 
grocery order. These two are from the dollar store. This is LA's Totally Awesome Bathroom Cleaner. This is the daily shower one. What I will probably be using to clean the shower with is a mixture of Dawn dish soap and vinegar. I do have this cleaning vinegar here. These are just dryer balls that I got from the dollar store. I've been just noticing a lot of static and we don't use dryer sheets. Just we like to keep things as minimal as possible in the laundry department. I got these two micro microfiber cleaning towels from the dollar store as well. I've used these before. I can't say they're the best, but they definitely do the job, especially for dusting. I got this multi-purpose cleaning paste from the dollar store and this is like the pink stuff dupe. The girl that was cashing me out at the dollar store, she said, I love this stuff, it really works. I use it with my scrub daddy and it just does wonders. So she gave me a great review on it. I was like, thank you, because I've, I've heard things about it, but I have not tried it myself. So we'll see how that works. And yeah, that's it for products. You'll see me here and there popping on camera to talk to you guys again, but you'll also see just like B-roll of me cleaning and doing things. Let's do this. Okay, so it's actually lunchtime now. And I'm just making myself something to eat real quick. Some fuel to keep on going. And just like that, it is already lunchtime. So I'm preparing something for us to eat. And I typically don't eat lunch with them at the same time because I eat my breakfast a little bit on the later side. So I'm not usually hungry at this point. But today was an exception. And... I've been peeling their tangerines like this lately and it's so easy. I basically get it all peeled in three pieces. This has been one of our go-to fruits lately. The kids love them and so do we. So I buy them every week and I'm just using that same Swedish cloth on our table. It makes it super clean really fast and the kids and I are then ready to eat. These kids are so much fun and they bring so much joy to my life each and every day. While the kids wrap up eating lunch, I am going to just tidy up a little bit here in the kitchen and get ahead because it's already getting close to the time where they have to go take their nap and then get ready for the next step. I think that's what's been crucial for me in this stage of motherhood where I have two littles. Um, it's just being at least one step ahead. And right here I am making myself a tea because I'm going to be making myself a homemade boba tea later and so I just want this tea to have enough time to cool down. It is now time for the kids to go to sleep. Nap time is usually around 2 p.m. That seems to be the time that works for the both of them. They're tired, they're ready to go to sleep, and they wake up just so much more refreshed and ready to play. So this is very necessary for them and for myself because this is where I get a lot of things done and I also get a little pocket of time to myself. So now we've reached the part of the day where it's nap time and I let out the dogs and I either make myself my lunch or I make myself like a snack if I already ate. So earlier I just ate, had lunch with the kids. So right now I think I'm just gonna get a little snack and I'm going to make myself a cup of homemade boba. This is something I've been craving and if you follow me on my Instagram, broadcast channel you would know that I sat there and made handmade little boba pearls and I made the dough from scratch. I looked up a recipe. It's really easy and simple but making it at home allows you to put your own ingredients into it and skip those extra additives that the prepared boba already has. So I did that and also I just wanted to try it. I wanted to give it a go and see if I could do it myself. And now that I've done it, it's really doable. And so I just store it in the freezer. You can store it in there for a while. And I've been experimenting on how I can make it quicker because I don't want to sit here and boil boba pearls to make myself a drink during nap time when I have other things that I want to get done. I've narrowed it down to I think I can make it in five minutes or so. I made the tea already and I just have it cooling in the fridge. I only need to make one cup of tea. It's about four or six ounces. I'm not sure, I didn't measure it, but it gives me two boba teas. So what I do is I just make one batch of black 
earl gray tea i put it in the refrigerator and i store it and so the next day if i want to have boba yeah i will have a very quick easy boba in the freezer i have some pre-cooked boba pearls that i'm just going to microwave because i did that last time and it worked out really nicely and i think that's how i'm going to keep making them from now on I put this in the microwave for about 15 seconds and then after I added a tablespoon of brown sugar because after I add the tea and the milk and the ice it just needs that brown sugar I think I'm gonna do a little bit more just a few more seconds and then I get some ice about this much Start some on the floor. so that's with the tea and give it a stir I do need to get a boba straw. This is not the right size, so my boba pearls don't come up in this straw. So I just kind of like fish for them. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little one came up through the straw. I was making them smaller as I was sitting there doing the boba. I'm like, I should probably make these a little smaller. So this is from the batch that has smaller boba this is a little pick-me-up i wanted now i'm going to just kind of speed clean their toys there's not a whole lot out they kind of just play with the same five or six toys and then i'm going to move on to another category keep an eye on the pups mm, this is good and just as a side note i don't like tea normally i really want to be like a tea person and enjoy tea um i want to like matcha i maybe i've just tried really bad matcha in the past but I, I want to incorporate teas into my life. I know that there are benefits to it. So if this is a way that I'm getting closer to that, then so be it. <laughs> I've already done some things off camera um, just throughout the day that I just, I wasn't able to capture because I was charging my camera at different points. I'm now going to move on to the bathroom. Anytime I feel overwhelmed, like w with cleaning or tidying up or anything, I remember this saying, this is from, don't know her name but this the channel name is clean my space and she's a professional cleaner that has a company she says start from top to bottom left to right and that always helps me to stay organized like if i can't figure out where to start because things just seem overwhelming i just remember start from top to bottom left to right and if i'm in a room and there's just like clutter all around me i just remember to think of it like clockwise like i'm going clockwise so i'll start at 12 o'clock and then i'll move over to one o'clock two o'clock and keep going until i make my way around the room that way i'm not bouncing back and forth from one place to another and getting all jumbled up not remembering where i started where i'm going if you struggle with that that's one tip for you I forgot to mention that i got this bucket from the dollar store so i just filled it up with some hot water some of that vinegar solution and dish soap and so I'm just gonna be working my way around. I'm not going to talk much because the kids are sleeping. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, but I am gonna be cleaning too, so we'll see how that goes. I don't always have the motivation to get things done like this, especially now that I'm in my second trimester and I am more tired these days and my battery just seems to drain a lot quicker than normal so it is hard to find motivation and energy but what i find is that once i start doing things and i get things going the discipline comes first and then the motivation follows it's almost like a snowball effect and i use that as a way to kind of kickstart me doing an activity maybe something that seems a little bit too daunting or too overwhelming at the time because maybe I'm blowing it up in my mind more than it needs to be and I just do it I start doing it maybe it just takes that little step on your end at first and then the motivation will follow after for you to keep going and do other things I find that a lot of times that doesn't just apply to housework but it also applies in different areas of my life and having the discipline to initiate and do things um, and continue the work that you said you would do, follow through with your word, follow through with commitment. Um, you may not always feel like it, but even when you don't feel like it, 
the motivation will follow afterwards. I also like to remember my why. Why am I doing the thing that I am doing? Or why is this thing on my to-do list? And oftentimes it revolves around something like a priority, something that matters to me, something that means a lot to me. And in this case, in the housework aspect of things, this is a way that I get to serve my family. And this truly helps to keep me grounded in my why because Jesus himself came to this earth to serve and not to be served. I went into a field of nursing that I felt like I was called to as a ministry calling to serve and not to be served. And so if that is a driving force for me as a person in, based on my personality, then I see that as an opportunity to serve other people, to see the smiles on their faces, to see how they light up when they taste something that I've just made. And that is a much bigger reward than anything else. And this gives me a special kind of satisfaction knowing that I get to do this and not that I have to do it, but I get to do it. I have a healthy body that is allowing me to do this. Um, but I know that in the future, I will be freshly postpartum and my husband will be having to step in in ways that I'm not going to be able to. And he does it so kindly and without asking for anything in return. And that I think is a beautiful thing about marriage is that we serve one another and we are both on the same team. But the good thing is that after you clean your shower and your bathroom, you're able to go and shower and refresh right after a lot of hard work you get to enjoy the fruit of your hard labor. So I think if I wanna even get that done, if I need to hurry along, then I'll be able to shower. I do wanna wash my hair, so I'll have to just keep an eye on the, on the monitor to make sure the kids don't wake up, but I'm gonna speed on through that part, and then I'll see what else I can get done, but if nothing else gets done, at least that was my top priority for the day, and I can continue to work. If you find yourself in a season where you feel like you're drowning in something and one of your responsibilities, whether that is working outside of the home or housework or taking care of the children or cooking something, there's an area always in our lives that we're constantly just circling back to that we just can't get down for whatever reason. And there might be periods of time where you might be okay with this area of your life and other times where it just creeps back up and it's this ongoing thing, but I want to encourage you that that's how, that's how life is. We're all growing and we are all learning and there is never going to be a time where you're going to be 100% proficient and competent in every single area of your life and you're always going to have it 100% together. There are going to be times in your life where maybe you know, the meal planning and meal prepping is taking a back burner, no pun intended, <laughs> but is maybe not the priority right now because you're in the thick of newborn life and, or maybe you are right now in a tough season at work and that is taking a lot more of your time and energy and is just straining you. And these things, I find them to be just indicators um, because you cannot control all of these factors about life. You can't control everything, right? But you can see these indicators pop up kind of like check engine lights. Okay, where am I spending my time in? Where am I spending my energy in? Where am I spending my money in? And where are these areas kind of draining me of my resources, my, my very precious resources, like my time, my energy, and how are these things affecting the overall health of the family, the overall health of our well-being? I think it's very easy, especially as moms, to get into the mom guilt of it all and to start thinking about how we're not enough, we're not doing enough, it's never going to be enough. But I believe, this is my belief, that in Christ, I am enough that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, like it says in Philippians 4.13. And it's times like this where I cling on to the Lord more than ever, where I ask him to just meet me where I'm at right there, to help to strengthen me and give me his power. It says in 2 Corinthians 12.9, each time he said, my grace is all you need, my power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. 
And I believe this verse is so powerful, especially in those times where we feel like we are not enough or we're not where we want to be. When we walk with Christ, he is able to work through us in ways that we would not be able to do ourselves. And that's the beauty about needing him and being in intimacy and relationship with God. I say all of this to encourage you to seek the Lord when you feel like you're not enough, when you feel like your weaknesses are being highlighted more than your strengths and you just can't catch up. Just reach out to him and he will pour over you a strength and a power that you would not have been able to accomplish on your own. So I leave you with that encouragement. I hope that it all makes sense. And if not, feel free to just message me or comment down below. I know that these are kind of Christian terms. And if you're not a Christian, I completely understand. I'm just speaking from my own personal experience and beliefs. And I hope that it can encourage you. My hope is to infuse my content with biblical encouragement for whoever's watching this, whoever you are out there, because I do know that God works in very strategic and mysterious ways and he can put someone like me, a random person on the internet, in front of someone like you and or someone that you know and can give insight to something that they're currently struggling with or that you're struggling with or that you need encouragement in. I know that that is the case for me when I watch certain creators in the YouTube space or in different platforms and I'm very careful with who I follow too because I want to make sure that I'm getting encouragement and I'm not getting, you know, any type of negative feelings or emotions after watching someone that I follow and so I'm just that's just one of the ways that I guard my heart like it says in scripture to guard your heart above all else because everything flows from it and I think that's extremely important in this day and age when we are bombarded with so many things in the media so many different influencers so many different even within the Christian content um, space Um, it can get kind of muddy out there. And so always coming back to the scriptures is so important. And that's why I'm such a big proponent of everybody needs to have their own relationship with God and foster and cultivate that relationship daily. And so I just hope to inspire someone out there. At this time, my little girl woke up. So here I am just kind of wrapping everything up quickly. Great morning. Mi nombre es mamá, mamá Priscila. Esto es una cámara. Una cámara de color medio y azul y naranja. Oh, sí, todos esos colores. Aquí. Correcto. Correcto. I want the apple. Yeah. I want the apple. Te voy a dar un apple, yeah. I was not able to finish everything I wanted to do in the bathroom just yet. I still have to do the floors, which I will. Um, that's like the bigger priority. The walls, I can do that. I can do that later. And then I have that tall mirror in the bathroom that I need to spray and wipe down. So. I don't know, I kind of thought, okay, I could just leave her eating a snack and then I can go shower real quick. But then I just, I always think, like, what if she chokes? What if something happens and I'm not able to get out quickly? So I'm just not even gonna do it. Um, I'll wait until Johnny gets home to shower. And these are just things that I have to work through as my kids are so little still. I need that second person, that other pair of eyes on them. I feel pretty accomplished. Um, I still have some laundry. It's still pretty early. Like it's only 4:30. I still have more hours ahead of me. Um, I still have laundry to do. I also want to go into the the drawer that's in the bathroom vanity and wipe wipe down some of those containers that I have. I think I'm gonna end this video right here because I think I already have a lot of footage. And if I keep going, it's gonna keep getting longer and longer. But if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, 
think it um, helped motivate you or just give you insight into my day and you like my day in the lives, this is something you guys have asked for. For me to do more day in the lives, let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of content. You can like this video, you can subscribe if you haven't already and I can continue to make more. I think this platform has a lot of potential to build community and encourage others and that's exactly what I want to do and just share the authentic real parts about life like there's cleaning to do and right now I'm a stay-at-home mom and so I get to do that myself um, rather than pay someone to do it I get to care for those things that the Lord has given me myself and it helps to shift my perspective as I'm doing it instead of oh man I have to do this I get to do this I get to serve my family in this way so if this is a video that you resonated with or you enjoyed you can let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as much as I can and I'm excited to come back next week with another video for you guys I'll see you bye